So the simplex method is used when solving a linear programming problem with more than two variables and or many constraints. And what I'm going to teach you today is how to set up the initial simplex tableau, which is essentially what you use to solve a problem using the simplex method. The first two things you need to do before setting up the tableau is to convert the objective function and convert the constraints you have. So for the objective function, instead of using x, y, and z for variables, you'll be using x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3, and so on. So let's say you have the objective function 2x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2 equals z. To convert this, move all the variables to the side that z is on, making sure that z stays positive. So the result should equal 0. So this changes to negative 2x sub 1 minus 3x sub 2 plus z equals 0. Next, convert the constraints. So all the constraints must be in the form ax sub 1 plus bx sub 2, um, etc. cx sub n less than or equal to a constant b, where b is non-negative. So you want to convert all these inequalities to equations because you want to put everything into a matrix in the end. So you'd write ax sub 1 plus bx sub 2 plus c x sub n equals b. But you need to account for the fact that the variables on the left side of the equation now might not add up to b anymore since the inequality states that the variables may be less than b. So you add what's called a slack variable denoted s sub 1 which is essentially equal to a constant that when added to this side of the equation makes it equal to b every time. Make sure though that you use a different slack variable for every constraint. So for the second constraint, you'd add plus s sub 2, then plus s sub 3 for the third equation, and so on. Now you can start to set up the tableau. The initial simplex tableau is basically a matrix with all of the coefficients of the converted objective function and the converted constraints. Now the first step is to write out what each column is. If you have three variables, you'll write x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 across a row. Then look at the number of slack variables you have. This will always equal the number of constraints you have. Let's say you have two. So you'd write s sub 1, s sub 2. Remember that the variable z exists too in the objective function. And lastly, you have the constants from all the equations. So this column will be called constants. Now you can put down all the coefficients for all of these variables for each equation you have. So given the converted constraint, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus s sub 1 equals 5, you would put down 1, 1, there's no x sub 3, 1 s sub 1, 0, 0, and a constant of 5. Repeat this for the rest of the constraints, and I'm just going to make some up here, 2, 3, 5, no s sub 1, 1 s sub 2, 0, 6. Lastly, the objective function always goes on the last row. So from before, we had 2x sub 1 minus 3x sub 2 plus z equals 0. So you'd put down negative 2, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, 1z, and a constant of 0. Finally, draw a line separating the constants and a line separating the objective function. So there you have your initial simplex tableau. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to solve this tableau in rated solutions.